The other day I was scrolling through TikTok when I came across this great thing called ChatGPT. Now a lot of people were using it to show how they could write college essays and answer questions, but I only had one thing on my mind, oh my goodness, can I bypass the creative process of script writing and filmmaking by using this AI to just write scripts for me? Um, and the answer is yes. Oh my goodness, this thing is insane. This thing basically does everything. I'm never gonna have to touch a pen and paper ever again. What's the best way to cook my eggs? All right, that's enough of that guy, back to me. Basically, what I did here was I charted out a simple question and response scenario to get the chatbot thinking and ready. You know, this one was about eggs, and as we can see, this thing just writes in a matter of seconds. It's literally like Wikipedia on steroids. So here we can see it gave me a pretty comprehensive answer on the best way to cook my eggs, but this isn't entirely what we're going for. See, I want to turn this into a narrative, but the clever thing about this chatbot, we can develop upon what we've already said. We can say, turn this into a story. And turn it into a story is exactly what it does. I honestly cannot emphasize how fast this thing actually is. It blows me away every time. Now, with the narrative complete, we can transform it from this into a short film script. Just by typing, turn this into a short film script. And again, the chatbot is going to analyse what we've already said and develop upon what it's got. And all we have to do is watch the magic happen. It sticks pretty closely to script writing regulation and always comes up with something new each time you plug the prompt in. As a way to come up with a simple script fast, I can't think of anything easier. Now, I quite like the script that it's given us, but it's not entirely what I want. As we can actually elaborate on what it's already given us. This story talks about Sarah enjoying making eggs, but what if she didn't? And this thing without a fault, just like that, goes instantly into rewriting with all the added new aspects. Ah, there we go, a much better script. One that really encapsulates the way me, the director, feels about eggs. And to conclude, uh, this thing's smarter than I'll ever be. So that's cool. We're gonna apply the same sort of development into our own short film. How good? I'm joined here with the lovely Bethany. And we're gonna use the chat to kind of riffraff some ideas, aren't we? Sorry, my nose is itchy. Just need to itch my nose, sorry. <clears throat> nose itched? Nose itched. Wait, do we need to come back in? Yeah, let's try come back <laughs> in. Again. I'm joined here with Bethany. Hi, Bethany. Hello. We're going to use the chat bot to come up with some ideas. We've got about 45 minutes. Let's go. Ooh. I think I've got a solid one here of like. Mm. Uh, I like it, but I feel like it can. I'll, I'll do some development on it. I'll see what I can get. Oh, here's the script. Oh, it's about two characters and their flatmates. I play Candy Crush, guys. Do you ever think that AI is going to take your job? Um, 100%. Why would it not? It's what they want. The they... governmental lizards? Yes. Are you afraid that AI is going to kill you one day? I hope it does. How about you, Ollie? How do you feel about AI? I think, no, I think I accept it because like before phones and stuff like that, like fridges. That freaked people out because people were like, what even is this? People are scared of fridges. People are scared of innovation, but innovation must prevail because we need innovation in order to continue. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the Skyrim soundtrack. This went on for an awful amount of time, um, but eventually Beth and I managed to work through a bunch of scenarios uh, and got to a script that we really liked. Yeah, that's it. Um, I think that this will work well with our space and our two characters, and then that little, that little riffraff between them. That conundrum. That 
Hooli dooly. <laughs> I guess you're just gonna have to wait to find out. When we got onto set, I unfortunately actually only had one camera, my main camera, so I didn't film much BTS, but there's Jack on sound, uh, Amy, one of our actors, and we had a pretty simple setup. Uh, I then got home that night and went straight to editing. Um, you'll actually see in the next shot, I was editing at about 12, 11 p.m. when I finished the first cut. And here is my timeline on DaVinci. Just excuse the timeline, all right? The way I think about it is that if I want the shot, it goes on the timeline, all right? There's nothing much to it. Just ignore the fact that I don't know how timelines work, all right? How could you do that to me, Josh? I trusted you to keep my secret. I didn't mean to let it slip, Jessica. It just came out in the conversation. But you knew how important it was for me that no one found out about what happened with my boyfriend? And now, thanks to you, everyone's going to I'm know. sorry, Jessica. I really am. But you can't blame me for everything. You were the one who was snooping on my phone calls. I was just trying to protect myself. I had a feeling you were going to tell your friend. Look, I'm sorry. Can't we just put it behind us and move on? No, Josh. I can't trust you anymore. I want you to move out. What? But why? Because I can't live with someone who betrays my trust like that. It's just not worth it. I understand where you're coming from, Jessica. But please. Give me another chance. I promise I won't let you down again. I'm sorry, Josh, but I've made up my mind. You need to start looking for a new place to live. Uh, and now I'm outside. This is what we in the film industry call a location change. Okay, um, some things that I learned through this process. Uh, 24 hours, that's actually not a lot of time, um, but I will say most of the filming that we did and all the planning, we did that in about 12 hours, uh, and the last 12 hours was me just finessing the audio levels. And by finesse, I mean just moving up and down. And even in the end, I was kind of a bit subpar. You know, it'll do, it's fine. I'm an indie filmmaker, you might say. So the AI is pretty cool. I do really like it. And the AI is really cool and really... No one wants me to make a video. Everyone's like, yeah, I'm gonna do everything right now. That's cool. Okay, we're just gonna deal with it. I'm so sorry. And the AI is cool. It's great for producing lots of ideas really fast, um, but it's definitely something that you're gonna wanna develop upon and actually flesh out because what I found with it was that it very much kind of created a very basic back and forth. It's kind of structure, I guess, to a growth to a height and then a fall off kind of wasn't there. And I think for producing lots of ideas fast, it works really well. I think as filmmakers, the best way for us to develop and get better with our skills is to always be producing stuff and I think if you are stuck for ideas and you don't know what to produce, which I find myself all the time, I'm like, I want to make something but I don't know what, plugging in just some general ideas into the AI would work really well to come up with things fast and then play around with them, see what you can do with them, have fun, I guess, that's, that's the key, right? is just to be making stuff that brings you joy. Did this bring me joy? I don't know. Brought me a late night, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, that's the thing, 24 hours is not a lot of time. I messaged two of my friends and were like, hey, I just need you to act in this, please. And they thankfully said yes. But I definitely could have done a bit more finesse on the filmmaking side. I didn't have a lot of time to edit it together, so there's some bits where the audio is pretty clunky. I hope to see you in another video. Hopefully I make another video. Don't know. We'll see. Bye bye.